Hey everybody, so every year in our church, we do a chili cook-off. My husband's gonna make one, my son Joshua and my son Noah. So first up is my husband's chili. He is preparing the bean part, but in the back, he's actually got a pork butt in like a salted brine. Salt brine. Salt brine, he's gonna put it in the crock pot tonight, so while we sleep, it's gonna slowly cook, and he's gonna add his pulled pork to it. Um, in the morning. So here is the first part of his chili. Pulled pork chili. Pulled pork chili, okay. So it looks like he put two large cans, 20, 20 ounce cans of tomato sauce, and that is what? That's diced tomatoes. Okay, so a can of diced tomatoes. And then, can I see that for a second? Could I, should I could show them? So I found this when I was shopping at Walmart. It is dark red kidney beans, pinto beans, black beans, and chili sauce. So it's mixed of all of them. He wanted kidney beans, and that's they're only in here because I don't ever buy kidney beans because I, I prefer red beans instead. And then he's got one large can of Bush's baked beans. Everything tastes good with Bush's baked beans. Yeah. So he's going to start our chili cooking day. And I'm in charge of the prizes. So I buy first, second, third, and fourth place prizes. This year I got hats and gift cards. So that's what's going to be the prizes for. And only the guys in our church do it. They get one year, one day a year, where they have a cooking cook-off with just the men of the church. And the women bring like the... Um, this kind of smells like dog food. It the, does? The little canned dog food. Really? That's what I just got a whiff of. Oh, great. That's nasty. I've never... <laughs> well, that's new. I've never seen that. Hopefully, it doesn't taste nasty. You got some beans left in your can. And so, the women make the cornbread and it's... the desserts. I don't know, honey. It's four kinds of beans. Now, it smells like Alpo. <laughs> so, my husband's making dog food for his chili. And then, that is a jar of This my... is my secret recipe. Yeah, I canned the potatoes. And so, he's going to add a jar of those. Potatoes. Oh, look at that. Are you gonna drain chili. them or just put the juice I'm in there too? I'm gonna drain them. Okay. We've been doing the chili cook-off for years. How many years do you think we've been doing this? Forever, hey? A while. It's yeah. It's always on Super Bowl Yeah, Sunday. it's always on Super Bowl Sunday. And um, I decided like, I think five or six years ago to do prizes and to actually make it to where they are competing. Um, we used to just have a chili cook-off and everybody try them, but we never like did like first place, second place, third place. And so I thought, you know, I'm gonna step up to the plate and do it. So now I put together all these prizes. Everybody writes down the number because we put the numbers on the pan so nobody knows who's is who's. And then I tally them all up. And I know who's is who's, but they don't. Pe the people in the church don't. And then my husband built a platform for first second is fourth on there too or just first second third fourth stands on the ground yeah. and third is elevated so yeah. my yeah. plan is that the salt brine for the pork that'll be the salt so when you take a bite of pork you'll get the salt flavor with the pork is where my seasoning comes through the meat if that makes sense maybe it's a dumb idea that's but just my vision what are you adding for spices it's a secret recipe just made a mess. The corn makes chili. I just, I just, I just made this up in a Ziploc bag, and then I transferred it to this bag. The corn makes chili original. It's a little more. Do you want chopped onions or any veggies in there? How much of this should I put in? Uh, I think you could do the rest of it because you're gonna add the pork too. Ooh, that's a lot. It's probably like three tablespoons. You're good. Well, I'm not writing a cookbook, and you are. I am. So, that looked like a cup. Now. How many tablespoons in a cup? Quick. Three tablespoons is a quarter cup. So, it looks like I put in, like, uh, nine tablespoons. I know my measurements. You're trying to catch me, weren't you? Three ta you said three tablespoons is, is a, a quarter, quarter cup. cup? Three teaspoons is a tablespoon. I just put in 12 tablespoons. You're Look at how dark it turned. Yeah, that's because of the seasoning, the chili powder in there. But you're going to be adding your pork. I can get you some more crushed tomatoes if you want, but you're going to add the no, potatoes too. No, I think the, it looks like chili. All right, let's come over and Once see. Once I it. add the meat, it's going to really... I need to maybe loosen it up some because when I put the meat in, um, it might thicken it up. Oh, I think that doesn't look too bad. 
I would say you need more stuff, like more potatoes or There's gonna be more meat beans. In there. Okay, okay. A bunch of meat. Well, you asked me. All right. All right. I love those spoons your mom gave me. So uh, he's pretty much done. He's gonna simmer it and then do the pork and then add the pork in the morning. So we'll come back in the morning with yours. That was pretty simple, like a dump and go chili. I could probably uh, get the pork cooking right now. It'll be done by like nine, ten o'clock. Then it'll sit in the chili. It's a good idea. Sauce, take on the flavor. Yeah, it's a good idea. Here, I'll come over and watch it. Should I use my salt brine as my liquid in the slow cooker with the pull, with the shoulder? Or well, should I, would, I just add water? I would start with the pork, add a little bit of your salt water and regular water. As it cooks, you can start tasting. If you feel like it needs salt, then add salt. You can also cut it back if you find it's too salty and add a little bit of sugar to it too. It's so it's been in the brine since 10, 30. So it's absorbed those salts. So I would just add... Like five hours. Five I hours. would just add it to the crock pot, add a little bit of, of the water. Because you know, it's going to start steaming, so you really aren't going to need a lot of liquid anyway. No. Okay, so ooh, it feels... Salty? Salty. Like so that. maybe just put a little bit of water in there and then just let it start cooking. Are you gonna do any spices on well, that's, top of that it? That salt water kind of broke it down. Oh, nice. Look at that. I think I'm gonna do just a touch of the brine. And keep the salt, cause you might wanna add it later as it's cooking. Not much. Do you want any like minced onion or anything in there? Un chopped onions or sliced onions to go into it or? No. No, okay. So how many tablespoons you're gonna add there? Like three or four teaspoons, that'll be good. There. All right, so I'll take that for you. I'm gonna need that for mine. See, these older ones don't have those lids that clasp. And they have longer cords, the older ones do. The newer ones, are, the cords are so stinking short. All right, okay. There you go. Well, I would turn it on high to get it cooking and then turn it low, maybe. That was good. Okay. All right. All right, so we added the pork. It's done. It's absolutely amazing. He added a little bit of spices. Hi, Brendan. Hi. And Brendan now is going to stir the chili. Now yours is officially Don't done. Don't on the edge of the pan. Mm -hmm. Most professional chili what? guy. <laughs> and then um, Derek and Noah are now prepping their chili. And where's Joshy? He's supposed to make his chili. I'm gonna like yours the best time, I can already tell. So you're not gonna put it back into the crock pot? You decided not to do that? No, I'm going to. Okay, because so well, because Joshy needs one. Should I, need, should I get more meat? Let me just take a... Oh, that looks pretty meaty. Looks good. That's gonna be my favorite. You know how I can tell? Because I like chunks of potatoes. Ooh. And hardly, there's no tomatoes. All right, so Noah and Derek are now making their chili, and then inside the pan they have steak. How many steaks did you guys cut up? Um, two pounds. Okay, so two steaks, two onions, and a stick of butter, right? Yep. You're probably gonna want like, um, instead of a spoon, I would do like maybe a spatula, since you have steak, or maybe one of those, like the green Last spoon. Steak. The green spoon would be good. See the green one? Would be, yeah, I would use that. There you go. And so now they're gonna cook it. You're gonna cook it till probably like it's medium. And then what do you do now? Do you wait for it to be completely cooked or do you add your spices to it? Um, almost completely cooked. And then you add your spices no to it? No, we'll add our spices to it. Yeah. So if it was me, I would actually add my spices ahead of time because you want the, the flavor inside the meat. That and did you get any tomato sauce for your chili? Okay, so that's your pot over there. So you could add your beans and your sauces to your pot while your meat's going. You could do like two different things. You're looking at he's looking at his direction. <laughs> so you got two cans of mixed beans and then a can of I don't need to drain these, do I? No. Nope. Okay. All right, let me see. All right, go for it. So my husband's is all done. You guys seen that? Here you go. Yeah, I would add like the garlic and I'd add a little bit of chili powder. 
And then what do you got? Cumin and cilantro over mm -hmm. there. Two cans of chili beans. And then you got salsa, corn, the corn I canned. You could probably do half of that in there and then do half in your chili pot. That's normally what I do when I make mine. So Noah has a recipe he normally oh, makes. Nice. Yeah, you could. Noah has a recipe he normally makes, but he couldn't find it. So now he had to do a different one, right? What is that? Cumin. Sure. Garlic. So he's he's in uncharted territory right now. Yes. So what do you what's that salsa goes also in there? Okay. In yes. here, I don't know. It's I don't know. recipe. I will check. You're gonna okay, go ahead there, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. And then you can add the rest of the um and the corn goes in there too. So that's corn that I canned right there. And then we have a can of canned corn. There you go, yeah. yeah. So I have like three different corns down there. I have um, Baja corn and fire roasted corn. And then you, and then I would put the rest of your chili seasoning into your, so if you guys win, I won't tell anybody that I helped you guys. <laughs> and so then, um, Derek, you're probably gonna want your chili powder in there. This is an experiment chili. Yeah, it's an experiment. It's Did you um, decide to add a little paprika? I would. Paprika makes it smoke. Oh, there it is right there. You know paprika can have more than that. It's not hot, it's smoky. I'd do a tablespoon if I were you. And I know the prizes, you guys, so you're gonna want them in, because I bought them. I try to clean the stove up a little bit, that looks good. And then you could simmer that on low with the lid. You could probably take, I don't know if that lid's gonna fit though. Josh is going to have to make his in the morning. He's a little tired tonight. Yeah. Do one more. Paprika's really good. You could probably add some of it to your chili, too, if you wanted. I also have a Hungarian smoked paprika. That's so good. Yeah. I know, isn't that? I got too many knobs here, don't I? Yeah, yes, and so you're just going to want to cook that. That looks great, Noah. And so you're gonna to wanna to cook it probably till your onions are like tender, if you know, they're a little softer. Let's stir all that good. Yeah. Do, do you know how to, did it stuff. work? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta click it and then turn the heat down when it's. All right, he forgot the kosher salt. Perfect, you wanna add some to your pot too? And so Derek went down to get some fire roasted tomatoes. Are those a fire? Oh, so you want the fire roasted. Those are like for spaghetti. Oh, yeah. I guess not. Did you see the fire roast? It has a black label. Yeah, because the ones on top of this are the fire roast. Yeah, yeah. That looks good. They think that their soup is too thick, so they want to thin it down a little bit. All right, so you got two there. Go ahead. Yeah, two. Okay. All right, so. How's that meat look? So when you put it in the pan, you could probably, cause you guys cut all the fat and stuff off. So you could just dump it in there. You don't have to just, um, you don't have to just take out the meat. You know, sometimes when you put meat in different things, you don't take the juices, but you could because you guys trimmed all the steak. So I would put it all in there. Cause that's like butter and like, um, and your onions look good too. So you probably, I mean, you could try one piece and see how it looks, but I bet you could probably add it now and then let it simmer on low. And in the morning, we could turn it on again, you know? Maybe take a piece out and, and cut it. Do you guys have like your little, just take like a small piece and see. All right, go for it, take one little piece. And then you can take, taste the seasoning in it too. Oh, honey, poke it. There you go. My kids are a little tired. They were partying all day today. Yeah, me and Derek did an eggs party, so it was so peaceful. But you're getting paid for it. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now you should try it, see what you think. The chef always tries their food. And see if it tastes... I think it's good. Does it? Does it need anything or is it good? 
Uh oh, something. What? You can taste the chili powder. Not taste the chili powder, but. Like a little kick? Does it taste smoky? Not really. Not really. Does it. You can taste the chili powder, but there's no real taste to it. Do you think you need more salt? Okay, here, let me try it. So, um, he is right. It does taste like chili, but it needs a little bit of saltiness to it, so he's gonna add some actual chili seasoning. Did you try your tomato side to see? Yeah, I think that'll work, because that has garlic salt in it. All right, perfect. And then I would, you know, I think you could probably add it to your chili now. Mm -hmm. And then just let it cook on, just simmer it. And then it'll help me the meat tender. Just be careful, it's gonna be a little hot. I wouldn't use your, well. It's, the pan is real hot. Yeah, right behind you guys is two pot holders. There you go. And just be careful when you, you know, you don't want it to splatter on you, so. Do you want, maybe you can grab a spoon, Derek, and you can just kind of push it in there. There you go. There you go. Nice. And then maybe stir it, and then you guys can taste it with a spoon and see what you think. Because it's got the corn in there, and you get all those beautiful onions. You got lots of onions in that pan. There you go. You gotta see what Joshy wants to do with his. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Okay. Let's stir that bad boy up. And uh, let's see. I love those spoons Dodi Grandma Dodi gave me. Yeah, no, that's beautiful. All these seasonings are going up my nose. And so you just let it simmer on low. I, I mean, you could even just turn it off and then let it kind of sit throughout the night and then heat it up in the morning. All right, so do your taste test with your spoons. Now that it's in the sauce, let's see this. <coughs> All right, Derek, best chili ever made. Steak, corn, tomato. What's the name of it, steak, corn, tomato. <laughs> All right, let's see what you think. Now, does it, is it better now that it's in the chili? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, well, let's just let it simmer on low. It looks really good. Good job, guys. All right, Joshy, what kind of chili are you making? So I'm gonna make taco chili. Right, and so what, you got your butter melting? Yes, I'm and trying then, to get my butter melting and I'm gonna put some um, garlic. Those are minced onions. Oh, minced onions. Not yet, though. And then I'm gonna add some. So That's your garlic. Garlic? Yeah. I mixed up. That's but I is. forgot this was. I have to go like and that. And then what's now. in the bowl? Some. Um, it's really heaping. I wouldn't lift it. Well, it looks that like is celery. Celery. And, and. What's that? Onions? Onions. Yeah. Celery and onions. And then this is um, broth. And then this is meat, and then all those are spices over there. Okay, so you're trying to melt your butter. Okay, so when the butter gets melted, we'll come back. Yes. All right, so your butter's almost melted. You could probably add stuff now, son. Go ahead, Josh. Yeah, good. So I'm gonna add some of this, some garlic. Turn your burner down a little bit, maybe. Your burner is kind of up too high, and that's why your butter's starting to burn. Just a little bit, I think. It's on low. Oh, it is? Okay. All right, get your other stuff out of the sun. Since it's all on it. All right, get your veggies in there. Get my veggies. Careful, it's overheating.
And some onions. There you go. So I would kind of stir that up a little bit, coat it with the butter. You're good, hon. Coat it with the butter, then you're gonna have a little beef broth because you want those veggies to be nice and tender. So my husband seen Josh that we were doing celery and he goes, uh-oh, celery, because sometimes when I cook, the celery doesn't get all the way tender and he can't stand that. So we have to make sure Josh eats that. That celery is nice and tender. Looks good. Those spoons I got from my mother-in-law for Christmas. All right, and so I would add some of your beef broth. I wouldn't add all of it, just a little bit, because you want those veggies to get tender and if you put like the liquid in there it'll help them it's so like maybe i don't know keep going i'll tell you throw it in there keep going keep going that should be good i'm gonna mix all that in there So we're probably gonna simmer that for about 15 minutes just for the veggies to get nice and tender. And then when we come back, what are you gonna do when we come back, Josh? What are you gonna be adding to it? Mm, chicken. No. Um, Is that chicken? No, steak. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay. It's like the moot for song of, um. What song? Um. Uh, a movie with steak? No. You mean like Moana? No, it's the song that says steak, pot, chicken. Mm. I don't even know that. Oh, uh, it's a song. It is, okay. Oh, you don't know the song? No? Okay, we'll get those going and we'll be back. Okay, when that um stuff gets cooking, I'm going to add my chili stuff in my pot. All right, go for okay. it. Okay. Should I add everything? Yeah, you can put everything in, sure. So that's, go kind of low to the pan though, if you don't want to splatter all over that beautiful white shirt. So that was what, crushed tomatoes? That is crushed potato tomatoes. Tomatoes. Crushed Four tomatoes. That's crushed tomatoes. Another thing of crushed tomatoes. Is that crushed? Let me see the front. Oh, that's puree. Puree, oh. That's puree. Close though. Spatula too, if you want. If you need to get out the stuff, go ahead. What do you got? Oh, you're just trying Never to get the rest out. Yeah, good job. Just make sure when you put it in there, you tell them what they. What you're using, because they're probably... I'm using a spatula. <laughs> I meant what's in the can. Oh, they're great. Tomatoes. Because for you. Because they might want to make this recipe, so they got to know what you're putting in there. There, I stirred your veggies for you. <laughs> they're so cute, I can't take it. Okay, that's done. And then I add these, these, uh... What are those? Oh. These del... Fire roasted dice. I'm gonna add these fire roasted dice. Those are tomatoes? Tomatoes. Nice. I went all the way on, so. That's a good idea. We're trying to get ready for our chili cook off today, so I'm doing all the prizes while Josh is cooking. Then. I'm gonna add another thing of um, fire roasted, um, diced, chilled. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Good job, Josh. And then, I'm gonna add some of this. 
What is that? Green chili. Green dice? Green chili. Nice. You probably like this in your chili all the time. Because it might be good. For sure. It probably smells really good because when you get in your chili, you're not going to think, oh yeah, somebody definitely put this in there because then they're not going to think, oh yeah, it's, they're not going to know what it is. Okay, here I got to show my head. And then my mom's going to show the prizes of the chili cook -off. It's the morning, so no makeup, sorry. Okay. And then my mom's going to show the chili cook -off Yeah, so there's four. Of the prizes. Yeah, so there's So here are the prizes right here. So there's four different places. So first place is a gift card to Red Lobster. Second place is a gift card to Applebee's. Third place is a gift card to Dairy Queen and then Subway. And so they all, if they place, I just come up and I put this on them like a ribbon, but they get their gift card. And then I got hats at one of our local stores in town and I got a red hat, a blue hat, tomato paste. Tomato paste. Um, I got hats at our local store and so I have a, a yellow hat, red hat, blue hat, and a white hat to go with the ribbons. I used to do chef's hats, but what do they do with the chef hat after they win? So I wanted to do something that they would use, so I'll go grab the hats and show you guys. I, okay. I still have my chef hat still. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. You're good. Can I bring it and use it for like cooking? You could if you want. Okay. I want to bring it. It's upstairs in my room. Oh, okay. So um, we have a local store called yeah. Uper Shirts, and they sell stuff with like EUP on them, and so I got, hopefully you guys can see it. There's a blue... This represents white, the red, and then the yellow brim. So these are the parts. Oh, it's in my, it's in my room. My hat in my apron. You mean you want to use it like right now while you're cooking? Oh, it's in my It's in my room, in my dresser. I kept it. You want to run up there really fast? So I can stop this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 He's got his chef stuff. That's chorizo beans. Chorizo beans. And bacon and different kinds of meats in those beans. Corn. That is, what is that? This South is Southwest corn. Southwestern corn. And you drained it, right? You drained it. Yeah, I did. Okay. His veggies are getting done, so we're gonna add the steak to that. Perfect. And what's your last thing over there? My black beans. If you ever eat black beans, they're so good. Come on, lovey. Okay. And then these are your two spices. Time's a ticking. We gotta get to church in an hour and a half. Cool. Oh, I'm not ready yet. So you'll have time to simmer it for sure. Ooh, that looks like a good pot of meat. Oh, soup there. to this so um so add your two spices he has white honey look at me add your spices so it's chili powder yeah and then the other one Add so much that's okay put it all in you got a big pot of stuff there and this is looking great there we go and then i'll take that from you and that is white pepper white pepper Stir that up, and then let's go back to your veggies. Get that stirred nice. Do you want this spoon? I can take that for you. There we go. Stir that really good, and then you're gonna come back to your veggies and get that steak cooking, because you wanna put that steak in that soup to get those spices going. Okay, so you gotta add your meat. That was steak that we cut. So add that. There you go. You might wanna spread that out a little bit. Yeah. And then you're gonna sprinkle your sauce, your spices after you spread it out. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna to have to get the crock pot for you. Oh, okay, so now sprinkle your spices on that. That looks great, Josh. So that is um, garlic and pepper seasoning. Garlic and pepper seasoning.
I'm just spreading it around with us. Looks great, Josh. Okay, and the next up is um, cumin. So you're gonna put half the cumin in there and half in your other one. So, so sprinkle some in one? your pan and then, no, no, don't use your fingers, honey. Just sprinkle half all over your meat. Wow, you are a very slow spreader. <laughs> no, um, keep going, keep going. I wanna add some of my chili too. Yeah, you will, you got lots. Keep going, keep going. Okay, add the rest to your chili. There you go, it's really good. Okay, and then that is, um, that's your paprika. You're gonna put all that into the meat. So paprika is smoky, it gives your meat a little smoky taste. Beautiful. And then that is your dried cilantro because you're making taco. Then let's and, and you can put, here. Yep, and you can put real cilantro on it when you serve it too. All right, perfect. And then you're going to add a little bit more beef broth to that. And then stir that up and get those spices into your veggies too. Yeah, we might have to get a shot for you. Beautiful, beautiful. I think that's probably good, Josh. And then just stir your meat up, and we're going to put the rest of that into your sauce. So go, oh yeah, a little chunk of meat on there. All right, stir that really. That's okay, honey, that's okay. Yep, just stir it really good. Get all those veggies mixed up with you. And the meat doesn't take long to cook because we cut it so small. So stir it in there. Beautiful. He's being really careful because he is heaping at the top. And you look great with your chef's hat. Yeah, there you go. I didn't know you kept it. That's super cool. I did. It I was up in my room. I, I kept it. it in my dresser. Oh, nice. That was like the one time in the one I cooked. Yeah, last year, right? Yeah. Dang, it was last year. What did you win last year? Do you remember? Oh, that flashlight type thing. Oh, the flashlight. Okay. That looks great. Okay, so we're going to cook this up probably for about 15 minutes. And he's going to add it to his pot, but I'm going to run down and get you a crock pot. Yeah, so this is not going to work because it's too big. It is too oh, big. Shit. Okay, so now Josh is going to put, we had to transfer everything to a crock pot because, uh, let me see if you, do I have any, keep you from putting it down the sink there. There you go. Okay, throw all that meat in there. It's okay if there's a couple of juices on, just put it in. Cause you're gonna stir it after. I need a scooper with the bigger holes in the bottom. I can't find it. It didn't get put where it goes. Mm. That's a that's good, Josh. You just don't want a majority of it in there. And we didn't cook the meat all the way because it's gonna be sitting in a crock pot for a couple hours. So he cooked it till it was about I'm gonna say medium, medium, rareish side. Is it too hot? Do you need this to hold the pan? Is it even oh, hot? Yeah. Okay, Love there it. we go. Perfect. Yep, per if it drips a little bit, you can still put it in. You're good. So we got all of this steak in there. I'm gonna stir that really good, and then you're gonna add the rest of your beef broth to that. That's one chili, Josh, holy cow. I didn't think it was gonna be that big. It's gonna be good, though. So we're gonna, we're gonna bring uh, cheese and sour cream and maybe some fresh cilantro to go over it. Normally when I make my taco chili, it's a little looser, but because this is like a chili cook-off, we wanted to do like a really hearty one because he's competing with all the other men in the church. What do you think, Josh? You think this is gonna be a winner? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> do you wanna add your beef broth and that might help you stir it a little bit? You gotta I'm trying on. to get all the meat down because it's hard to... Oh, I see. Yeah. Good thing. So you want to go mm -hmm. you want to go in in the... Here, let me show you. That's so when you have a lot of stuff... Here, wait, before you do that, watch. So you take your spoon and you go in the middle and flip. In the middle and flip. It just makes it a lot easier when you have a lot of soup and stuff. And because you can't really stir it like this, right? So you just go in the middle. See how I'm bringing up all the yeah. tomato sauce? So in the middle and flip. So dig and flip. Okay, try that. See if you can do that. Dig and flip. 
There you go. I didn't get this top here, so you might want to do that. Yeah, you want to dig down and then just flip it. There you go, son. Now, if you add some of your beef broth to it, it'll, it might help it now because it won't be as thick. That looks great. All right, go ahead and add your beef broth. I would do the rest of it. We're going to get pretty close to the top, though. <laughs> I don't want to go to the top. Okay, go low with it because it's going to splatter on you. Keep going. Because you want it kind of a soupy too, right? It's going to soak into the rest. Yep, soaking down a little bit. Keep going. Keep going, son. All right, so stir that. I wouldn't put the lid on yet. Stir that, and then we'll add a little bit more. How much you got left in there? Oh, not much. So flip, right? So flip. Dig and flip. There you go. Dig and flip. Perfect. Ooh, careful. You just wanna just top it over. You don't wanna actually, yeah, there you go. Ooh, there's that corn coming out in it. Dig and flip. Now get your sides. See, isn't that a lot easier when you dig and flip? Get the closest side to you now. He's a lefty. Dig and flip. Correct. Oh, we're... All right, keep going. So as it cooks, it's going to thicken, Josh, and so you want to add some liquid to it because as it cooks, it'll thin out, but then when it sits, it'll thick, thicken because you have beans and stuff in it. So that's why you add some loose liquid so it's not like a stew. You know what a stew is? Yes, it's, it's like soup. Yeah, but it's like a, it's like veggies and stuff, and it's real thick. And you put it over bread or biscuits. That looks amazing. All right, that looks great. Okay, well, Josh is done. And um, you want to bring over your crock pot? Put your, keep your spoon in there, and then bring over your crock pot, and we'll set it in there. We'll get it. I didn't plug it in, did I? Yeah, yeah, bring it over and we'll get it plugged in over here. Okay, bring it over, son. Joshua. Oh, it feels hot. Bring yeah. it over. That's because I had it plugged in. Okay, set it on. Oh, I turned it off. Okay. All right, so put your, put your crock pot in there carefully. Watch these little... It's okay, leave your spoon in there. Okay, be careful because of these. Yeah. Okay, go for it. I got gotcha. you. Careful. Yeah, yeah. Watch hot. your hands. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. That's hot. Okay. Perfect. You oh, okay? that's hot. Yeah. That was plugged in and it was on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I turned it off. So, it's okay. so put your lid on. We'll get you. We kind of moved over a little bit. There we go. All right. So you're all set now. Um. Oh, that works. Yeah, you don't want to lock it. Just put the lid on. Nope, nope. Unlock it. Oh, why is the lid? Why is it too? Like, there you go. I'll go okay, that. so no, no, look at me. You can't lock it. People say don't lock them because they could explode if they get too hot. <coughs> okay, so you're done. Everybody's soups are done. Now we're gonna see who's the winner. When we get back from church, we'll let them know who won. What do you think? Me. You? Okay. We completely forgot to share with you guys um, the results of our chili cook off. My husband had built this platform that was black. And it had three steps and it said first, second, third, and then fourth place had to stay on the ground. And so Noah did make third place. And I believe he won the $15 gift card to Subway. My husband tied for fourth, but we gave it to somebody else. And um, then Joshua was fifth. Um, a lot of people really liked Joshua's, but I think because it was like more taco -y and not so like chili, because there was like 10 of them there. I personally thought Joshua's was a lot better than even my husband's, but don't tell. Um, but no, he did a really good job and, um, we actually had chili that, let's see, that was like at two, so we had chili that night. So we finished off Noah's, my husband's was almost done. And I think we got Josh's done too. We ate his for like two days because we made so much chili. Um, but they did really good last year. Josh, he, I think Josh, he's actually been on the podium like every single year he's placed in the top three. This is his first time he hasn't, but he didn't seem too upset about it because he had his chef hat and his apron from last year. Um, but yeah, so that's how it went. I'm going to post all of the recipes in the description, so make sure to read that.
But thank you so much for joining us on um, my boys and my husband making chili for our chili cook-off. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like to our family page. And thank you for those who do. And um, I think uh, I'm actually heading to Florida here soon with Izzy for her senior trip. And so I think I'm going to say, um, so yeah, these videos are kind of like, you're probably thinking, holy cow, Valentine's Day is done. So um, I'm a little back, a little behind on sharing videos with you guys because I don't do them every day. I just do them every other day just because life has been super busy. And um, hopefully I can pick things up a little bit once we get done with these trips that we have had planned forever. And so, um, yeah, so I'm going to say um, I'll do it. Going to the chapel and Haley's getting mad. And just before I go, we have a couple really cool videos coming up. Um, David has okayed me to vlog them picking out their tux and trying them on. And so I'm super excited about that. And then we're going to go back right before the wedding and have all the guys get fitted and see everything kind of in action. So I'm really excited to share, to start sharing with you guys wedding plans. I'm super excited about that, but okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. And, um, all these chilies were yummy, super, super yummy. So I would definitely try out these recipes. Okay. 